Prior to World War II, Joe and his brother Alex were growing up in Vienna, Austria. Austria became occupied by the Nazis, and Joe's father took quick action, and it pointed to Joe and his brother Alex being sent to the United States on a ship with no family or loved ones, no ability to speak English, and landing in New York City and being taken in by an aunt in Queens. Their mother was very ill at the time and died. His father eventually came to the U.S. We came over to America as homeless. We adjusted, we went to school, then uh, we eventually came to Syracuse University. Folks had come back from World War II. There were many different kinds of activities that he could get involved in. I entered Syracuse University and signed up for ROTC. My grades were excellent. I was Phi Beta Kappa level, magna cum laude. He had an interest in public administration, possibly from his time in the Army as a financial officer, and he just gravitated to that immediately. What Maxwell did, it gave me the background. It gave me a jump off point. It was what propelled me out in the real world, and I think I've done the job. His youth, his energy, his values and convictions led him to push for a series of reforms in local governments. It led him to this kind of calling of his around fiscal prudence. There were judgments that I had to make and crises that you went through as a public servant. You have to make decisions that are in the public interest. Joe has been a wonderful supporter in the Jacksonville, Florida area where he's lived for decades now. He has devoted himself to several nonprofit organizations that help animals. Another interesting one is Tree Hill Education Center. Parks and recreation, community centers, libraries, find the way to pay for it. Joe's philanthropy at the Maxwell School has been an amazing asset. When you walk around the school, you see his name on walls. I think the most important space Joe named was the Dr. Paul and Natalie Strasser Legacy Room, which he named for his parents. Joe has demonstrated that we each have a responsibility to leave what we find greater and more beautiful than we found it. Joe has embodied the Athenian Oath and tried to live it out in his life. It wasn't about me, it was about what I could do and what I'm still doing. The only thing that I wish that I had was more so I could do more.